Every year, around 20,000 women are diagnosed with ovarian cancer in the United States. Remarkably, that actually breaks down to more than 50 women in the U.S. hearing those words every single day. Last year, that number included a Cleveland police officer who was determined not to become a statistic. Now, she's using her journey to take care of those she serves. Here's Lindsay Buckingham. At the Cleveland Division of Police 4th District. Are you in the office today? 48-year-old Officer Vicki Shabilsky feels at home. Doing good. It's easy to see how much her brothers and sisters in blue have missed her. You're in the lobby all by yourself? That's because for the last 13 months, she's been battling stage 4 ovarian cancer. I went to the emergency room and they did a scan. And they said, you have a 21-centimeter uh, mass on your left ovary. Shocking to say the least, but Vicki was ready to fight. I said, what's the plan? Because I'm all about the plan. A year filled with surgery and chemo can test anyone's faith, not hers. This mother of three and loving wife stayed hopeful. I was lucky. God took away all the anger and the fear, and I just focused all my energy on getting better. And she did. But she wasn't just focused on her own healing. When I was in the hospital, Every room is a private room in the cancer center, and I would just go room to room and ask people, hey, you want a visitor? She wanted others to feel better, too. It just gave me an opportunity to encourage other people. Encouraging, tough as nails, and inspiring. Officer Vicki came back to work just nine days after surgery. Then, just last week, she returned to regular duty. My dispatcher was like, oh, Vicki. She's like, is it you? She goes, I saw your name. And I was like, oh, she's back. She's back. And I was like, yeah, I'm back. Back on patrol with a new perspective on life and purpose for those she serves. I try to take that compassion and positivity on the road with me. And, you know, I mean, we're meeting people sometimes in on their worst day. And so trying to be the light for them, trying to put them on a better path, that's really my goal. Lindsay Buckingham, 3 News.